Hi everybody, I'm Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University and here at SIGGRAPH 2022 I'm in the OptiTrack booth with Neil Abreu. Uh, you guys have something new you're showing today. Uh, what's up with this trampoline in here? So we are very excited uh, to show off Moda 3.1, a preview of our new software which is going to enable just to put simply tracking objects that are not rigid. So we couldn't think of a better example to show a trampoline surface, but you could also think you tracking ropes, tracking blankets, tracking cats and dogs and horses, anything that's not a bipedal skeleton. Uh, but being able to train these fluid objects into a marker set and uh, to be able to recreate those on the fly. So imagine being able to track Batman in a mocap suit, but also the cape and being able to capture all that in real time, final production, not and uh, reducing post-processing time like crazy. So. Um, I'll have Ronan jump on the trampoline a little bit. You'll be able to see, represented on the video wall there, um, the, tracking the deformation of the surface of the trampoline. Of course, in addition to our, our you know, skeleton solve, which uh, we unveiled as, uh, in, as a part of Motive 3.0 at SIGGRAPH 2019. So this is kind of the next generation of our, so of our software that makes it even better for um, final shot quality, like straight out of the you know, first shot of um, the motion capture um, set, performance capture set and uh, just aiming to completely eliminate uh, post-production editing. So I'm used to a mocap system outputting uh, essentially an FBX skeletal system and uh, individual markers. Is this uh, uh, available as like a different kind of export? Will it export an Alembic with all of the deformations or is there something else going on? Yes, it will. And, uh, you, and you'll be able to add that, you know, add that to streamed in Unreal as well. So you can have a very realistic collision with objects. Uh, you know, and, and be able to completely eliminate, you know, your, uh, say your feet, for example, passing through that object. You're going to be able to have it be nearly spot on, and it's fairly amazing. I mean, just even seeing here, trying to, trying to watch for breaks, trying to see parts of his body slip through the trampoline, and it just doesn't happen. And so this clearly works with a record process export scenario. Uh, for live exporting, like live feed into other applications, do you have this already integrated with other applications, and which uh, which ones? Uh, all of our it's our NatNat data stream supports uh, the rigid body or the um, train marker sets, as we're calling them, um, supports that right now. So anything that NatNat streams into your Unreal, Unity, th uh, 3ds, Maya, Motion Builder, and, and so on, all of our plugins on our website, all will support streaming of the train marker sets. This is amazing. So now we have full soft body deformation that we can literally track. I can see this being used also, you talked about a cape, so we could potentially use this in a fashion uh, application so that we can actually capture the, the flow of fabrics and such over over somebody that's mocap. Exactly, yeah. You, can, you could uh, test like 10 different fabrics and find out which one flows the best and you know validate it with actual motion capture data. So. Really, really cool stuff. Um, you know, that's the beauty of this, is that we came with this technology and like, you already have come up with a really cool application for it. So that's just our hope with this show, is that we show off just part of what we can do and then that it's, uh, it just allows the creatives and, and business people and people just who just want to make tech make things easier. You know, you on your own can come up with how this will fix things and then we'll help you get there. So I've got my mocap uh, system, my OptiTrack system. Um, is this software now, this is a software update, doesn't change the hardware at all. Right. Yep. Uh, is that released now or is there a schedule for that release? Uh, we are not scheduled yet. This is a, technically a preview of it, but um, we are working very hard to, to get that out by the end of the year. Awesome. Yep. Neil, thank you so much. Everybody, thanks for joining. Uh, until next time, have fun.